We got Tony Martin back here on the program. He's coming off an impressive win at welterweight at UFC Fight Night 128 on April 21st. Tony, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me back on. No problem. I, and I, like I said off the top, uh, congratulations on the win. How did you feel at welterweight competing a weight class up and not having to cut those extra 15 pounds? I mean, honestly, it just felt weird throughout the whole week of just not focusing on the weight. I was able to eat. You know, I uh, the night before weigh-ins, I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I was – honestly, I felt great. You know, I was, it, it was just a different experience by – the week almost got long because I normally throughout the week I'm, I'm I'm so starving that I'm running around and I'm doing stuff all week to try to get my mind off eating. And this time I was, you know, I just relaxed a lot in the, the hotel, uh, did a little bit of gambling, uh, played a lot of cards and whatnot. But no, I loved it. I thought it, I, I can't wait. And even now, you know, I'm I'm only up back up to 185. My body feels right back to normal, and I, I've never felt this good right after a fight. So the plan is to stay here at 170. It just wasn't a test thing. This is your new home. Yeah, no, I'm definitely staying here. That was obviously just a test to, to see how I felt in the cage, you know, at 170. And I, I felt great. You know, I think that uh, I put on a dominant performance against Nakamura, but I, I think that there's things I could have capitalized on a little bit more. But it was more, you know, a lot of changes came, you know, coming in this, this fight with the weight, the new gym, and the new coaches, everything. So... It was just a lot, a lot of change in going into there. It certainly was. Now, what was the game plan heading into the fight, and do you feel like you executed it? Yeah, I mean, the game plan was, you know, they wanted me to be patient, and you know, I, I'm more of a counter striker for sure. And you know, so I was trying to get him to come out for me, but it was kind of he threw me off a little bit because he started, he was only counter striking with me, so it was a little different in that aspect. But you know, obviously, I landed some good shots. I, I, I hurt him a couple times. And I went to jump on them, and the coaches, you know, we don't really know each other too well yet, so they just were telling me, hey, calm down, calm down, you know. And uh, even between the second and third round, I was telling the coaches, I'm like, listen, he, he just doesn't hit hard, you know, because I, I felt some of his punches. And they're like, listen, we know, let's just, let's, just, let's just take this victory, let's just take it home, and then we'll go back to the drawing board and work from there. Uh, but it was more, you know, we're just trying to get to know each other for this fight, and I think that every fight, it should just get better and better. You mentioned the counter striking. Was there anything else in the fight that surprised you about him as an opponent? Uh, honestly, I mean, it was more. I think I hurt him right away, and I think that kind of messed up. The, I don't know if he came in expecting me to hurt him right away, so I think uh, that was the biggest change in the fight. I, I de definitely expected him to take more chances and to come after me a little bit more, mostly when he knew he was down on the cards. You know, I, I don't think there was any rounds that were in question, so I think. Uh, he knew he was definitely losing, so I expected him to get get more aggressive, come after me a little bit more, and he just never did that. So I mean, it, it, it kind of seemed like I coasted to a victory, but it was more of uh, you know when you start trying to force stuff, that's when you get caught, that's when you get in trouble. And you know, I landed heavy shots, I landed good clean shots, and, and that's all I could really do is just uh, take what's coming to me, and and, and then that's how you got to win your fights. Uh, obviously, you know, I wanted to finish. You know, I was still. Even after the fight, I was a little disappointed because I wanted him to finish him. You know, it's just one of those things where he hasn't been finished. But I've gone back. I mean, I've seen a lot of his fights. I, I don't know if anyone's ever clearly slept him all three rounds. Um, so I think I did that pretty easily. What about uh, strength-wise? How did you feel? Oftentimes we hear when someone moves up a weight class, they might feel a little bit weaker. They might feel fine. How did you feel? No, I felt phenomenal. You know, I, I think that obviously I'm not sure if he – a lot of people do say that they they grapple with him and they, he's deceivingly strong, but – I didn't feel that. Uh, and, you know, looking back, I definitely think I should start sprawling a little bit more when they shoot in because I'm always looking for shots. I'm looking for submissions right away when someone shoots in. That's why I kept going the guillotine a little bit too much. And, you know, if that stuff happens earlier in the rounds, you don't know if, how, what the judges are going to do if you're sitting down there. You know, even if I have a submission on, if I'm just sitting there for, you know, a minute or two, they, you don't know how they're going to score it. So it's something that, you know, me and the coaches talked about. We're going to work on that a little bit. Uh and then we'll just go right from there. How did you celebrate after the fight? Actually, I, I, I went to the Airbnb. It's a kind of a normal thing I like to do for at least, at least the last few days of uh, till the fight. So a lot of my teammates and friends and uh, family and stuff will come into town. So we, did, we just went back to the Airbnb. We watched the fights on TV and, you know, had some drinks, had some food, and just had a good time with each other. You know, I think that's usually – 
I, I get a lot more enjoyment, you know, celebrating with them than, uh, than just running around town getting wild or not. Right. No, for sure. Yeah. Um, what, what's the Tony Martin drink of choice after a fight? Uh, well, I actually, from what you can these, remember. <laughs> all right. So I bought these shot glasses when I was shopping at the boardwalk and it was, it was just more of a joke. You know, I, I talk a little smack a lot to all my buddies. And so I'm a Tito's. I drink Tito's vodka. I just, Okay. I think I'm allergic to beer or something because I, I puke off. I, I have like four or five beers, and I'll puke the whole next day. It's something wrong with that. So then I started drinking this Tito's vodka, and that's the only thing that I found that make me not puke all the next day. So I bought this one for me, obviously. You know, the sexy <laughs> one. Uh, so I bought these shot glasses, and Brock said, as long as he's not number one, he's okay with it. So this is for Timmy Ogundepe. <laughs> Uh, this I gave to Brock. Okay. Yep. And then, uh, this was for Dave and my homie, Nick. So, okay. How generous of you? It was just kind of a little joke, but pretty much I was just doing some shots, but I, I, I didn't start drinking until halfway through the night. So I didn't want to get too crazy. Uh, and be all hung over because I had to run to New York after that and run right. around. Okay. And do stuff, so yeah. No, understandable for sure. Um, so what has this week looked like for you? Um, you know, in terms of like, have you gotten any training in, or are you taking the week off and going back into it? What's sort of the plan? Well, I, like I said, I was just traveling. I just got back uh, last night, late last night from uh, Newark, so I flew out of there, and then. Uh, but no, I went to training this morning. Um, so now I went to training. Now I gotta. But then I fly back to Minnesota. I got. I'm headed to Minnesota. I was tomorrow. going to ask you about that. So you're you're going to LFA for the for the fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to the LFA fights. You know, we have a uh, one of our teammates, uh, Maurice Green's fighting for the the heavyweight title. Mo the, for, Mo uh, the pirate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So big Mo. He's uh. So we're uh. So I'm headed out there. I'm gonna go support him, and then I'm gonna run up to uh, Fargo, and uh, for Saturday and Sunday. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna head out there uh, tomorrow morning. Go hang out with all of them, and then watch the fights Friday, and then head out to Fargo after that. So yeah, I'm ahead of it. But then I'll start fully training next week. Okay, gotcha. So you'll be back in Florida by next week then to train at ATT then. Yeah, yep, yep. I'll be back full time. And I trained this morning at ATT, did some grappling and whatnot. So uh, I mean, I feel great. I, honestly, I think there's no need for me to take any time off. I'm not hurt or nothing. So I'm just gonna get right back to the drawing board and uh, get right back to work. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of muscle on uh, for the next couple weeks, and then ideally, you know, I, I would ideally like to fight within two months, you know, I think that, I think eight to 10 weeks is a easy uh, plan. So, so that's going to be the idea is I'm going to try to pitch the idea to try to, I don't know, slide into a fight. I think I, it's probably be like a short notice fight where uh, ideally try to slide in. But if, if they're willing to book me out now, I'd do that as well. But uh, it seems like it's always tough to find fights for some reason. Yeah. So are you looking more like summer, like in July or even earlier than that? <laughs> I would like even earlier, but I mean, uh, Kayla's fighting, so she's a little Which worried. we can finally but, talk about. I know we couldn't talk about it last time. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So good. June 21st, she's fighting. Uh, and then, so she just released that. But, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't want to obviously fight too close to her, so she's not all stressed out about that. But, you know, I, I mean, she knows this is this is the business, and a fight's a fight. So I, I need to fight. Um, and really, like, like I've been saying for a while now, these next two, three years is very pivotal, so... I don't want to, if I don't have to take time off, I, I don't want to take time off. You know, I, I think that now is my time and, uh, I still think there's a lot for me to show. I think, uh, if I have the right opponent, even if he's a, a straight killer, I think it's, uh, I, I match up very well with guys. I, I feel like I have a very good ability to, to make guys not look as good as they really are. And I think that Nakamura is one of those guys where I think that if you watch her fight, you may be like, okay, he didn't look that great or this is just an okay fighter, but he's been in there with some of the top guys and he's never looked like a straight killer, but he's always been competitive in every fight where it's like, Oh, that was a back and forth round. That was a close round. Uh, okay. He won that. Maybe lost that, but no one's ever blew him out. And I think that, you know, you watch it and you might be like, okay, he was outclassed almost, you know? So I think uh, I have a good ability to, to do that to fighters. Um, you mentioned Kayla's fight. Are you going to corner her for that fight, or do you guys kind of separate? No, no, no. I think that it's just going to be. She gets a little. Uh, she gets all worried. She, 
she comes from judo, you know, obviously we're at the two, so she's not used to having someone better than her. Uh, mostly her. <laughs> you know, so she gets, uh, she doesn't, uh, so she gets a little worked up, you know. Okay, I'm not gonna allow this to happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, before I time, we had a fight. I was respectful. First of all, he's not the Uno champ. I have the Uno Second champ. Of all, That's he's a lot. Not okay. The Third what are you of all, talking about? I destroyed you both. Okay. Last year. Call all his friends the day of his fight. He was like, "Oh, let's play rummy." Blah, 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 blah. So we play rummy. She has a three percent win percentage in rummy. I'm trying to let him win because I'm like, I want to build his confidence. I want him to go in there feeling good, like he's a winner. He, right. I'm letting him win. I, I still, I still beat him. Did I told I, did her. Did you lose that game? Yes or no? That's the only question I need. <laughs> I told her my my thousand to her two hundred. Anytime she wants to do it, she can do it. She doesn't want it. Oh my she God. doesn't want it. She's scared every time. Anyway. Yeah. See. You can edit all of this out. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't need to. I'll give her. I'll this. give her five to one. People know who the real champ is. People know who the real champ is. Okay. I don't need to talk. My work is for itself. Go sit. Go sit. Don't tell me to sit in the corner. I'll just laugh over your head. So, oh, so safe to say this isn't like a Sam Alvey thing where, you, you know, you're going to have your significant other in the corner. It's just going to be, you know, business as usual. God, no. Oh, my God. No, she doesn't like – listen, this is exactly what happens. I'll tell her what to do, okay? She's so stubborn. I don't she know won't do it until someone else tells her. <laughs> no, That's always – no, no. She'll, like, she'll tell me like a week later. Oh, uh, yeah, Mike told me to do this. Yeah, I told you a week ago to do the same thing. And then she'll act like, oh, it was his idea. <laughs> so, yes, it is. Uh, la- last question for you here. Um, do you have an opponent in mind? Or are you just going to leave that up to your management as far as who you want to fight next? Is there anyone you have your eye on? Because it's a new division for you. No, I mean, I, there's no one really that I have my eye on. But I don't want to. I don't really want to fight some new guy. You know, I, I, I got to start trying to build a name at least. I feel like I just haven't been given the right opportunity yet to – to really get in there and, and put on the best performance I can. I, I told I told Sean after the fight, you know, I just want, honestly, just get someone that's going to try to come kill me. I, I don't care. Like, it's just going to make, the more in danger I feel, I think the better I'm going to fight. I think that the, the higher opponent I'm going to fight, the better I'm going to feel. Uh, and I train hard, you know, I, I train hard, and I'm going to be right back to the drawing board. I'm not ducking anyone. And honestly, you know, that's why I'm thinking it's going to be a short notice fight because I, I, I want a big guy, I want a tough guy. And I, I'm not looking to, to pad my record in the UFC. I, I want tough fights. I want, I want big names. And that's my goal. And that's what I'm going to try to do for the next couple of years before, you know, the end of uh, Tony Martin fight. So uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's, it's time for a big name. Awesome. Well, we're certainly looking forward to that. And again, Tony, congratulations on the win. And thanks again for the time, man. It's always uh, good talking to you. I know we're just a couple of days removed from the fight. Just uh, remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout outs, man, the floor is yours. Uh, obviously, thank you for always having me on the show. I appreciate what you do for all the fighters and stuff. And, uh, you know, thank all my teammates and everything. And you can follow me at T Martin MMA. That's on Twitter. I think that's all my uh, uh, social media. And, uh, obviously, you know, Kayla came on your show. I feel a little disrespectful that she came on here and she lied to you when she knows I'm the Uno champ. I am the, the Rummy champ, and she knows that. <laughs> See, like, she, right. But, <laughs> I think we just said things. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> What's up, Fight Fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.